Okay, so let's say you're, in, you're developing an app that needs the battery to be strong for some functions to work. Uh, you want to detect that. You want to know whether the battery is low, whether the battery is, uh, is high, whether it's full, whether it's been charged, whatever the status is. So there is a Cordova plugin, Cordova plugin battery status that can help us to detect that. Um, and it has a uh, like, uh, native wrapper. It works on uh, many uh, platforms here, uh, iOS, Android, and the others. So it's fairly easy to use. Uh, so the 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 the, the uh, functions, uh, for example, the on change will help us to. Uh, subscribe to an observable when the uh, battery status changes you want to do something um, so when it's full you want to maybe do something when it's uh, low so this one specifically helps us to detect when it's low this function also helps us to specifically detect when it's really critical and the response that we get from all these uh, functions is the battery status response uh, which gives us the level or whether it's plug or not so let's uh, implement this in our app so battery status okay so let's add it to so npm install ionic native battery sorry battery status and let's save it let's also add the uh, the Cordova plugin so ionic Cordova plugin add so Cordova plugin battery status So let's now import it into our uh, root module. So import and add it to um, our providers. So battery status uh, to providers. And now let's go to our homepage class. Import it here to battery status. And we can now inject it into a constructor and use it. So private battery status type battery status. So what one do is uh, first of all, let's implement. Uh, a function to get the uh, status to get status so let's start battery status dot um, change and it's uh, it is uh, an observable yes so we're going to subscribe to it subscribe and we are getting back the status so which is uh, of type battery status response so now when we get the status, what do we want to do with it? Um, let's uh, add a property here called stats and uh, let's give it to it status.stats status 
Okay, so inside our so our view, we're going to display it here. Okay, so how do we display? Let's uh, each three the level. We will show the level here. Going to be start dot level. Make sure you bring this. Um, then going to uh, the where that is plugged. Is plugged. Okay. So think that is it. Now let's uh, when the page boot, let's call this function. There is not. All right. So let's now run it. I like call the run Android. So here we are. We have been told that level is hundred percent, and the, the the device is blocked. Let's change it here. About three. Let's do it sixty um, percent, and let's turn it off. Yeah, and let's see whether it's detected in our app. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was detected. So. Now the level is 60 and it's not blocked. Let's change it to um, 84 and let's see whether our app will detect and display the um, level that we just changed our um, app to. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 84. So that is it. That's how to get the, net, uh, the battery status and display it or so do whatever you want to do with it in Ionic.